Welcome back, everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys are having a good one out there today. Guys, we're going to be going over 10 of the most forgotten items in Fortnite. So I'm going to mention items that had an actual showing in Fortnite. I'm not going to mention stuff like Eye of the Storm Tracker because it was only in the game for like 30 minutes. I wanted to showcase stuff that had enough time to become memorable, but for whatever reason, they never did. And even if they are somewhat memorable, I'm trying to mention items that may be somewhat recent, but you'll never think about them again, especially if they happen to be released a little bit earlier in Fortnite like some of these other items. Basically saying with more time, these items will be just as forgotten as some of the older items on this list. List. Firefly jars in the future will make this list. What other items that we have currently will be forgotten about? Make sure to let me know in the comment section, guys. Make sure to go drop a sub to my second channel, link in the description, and use my code CobesMind. I'd appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get into it. So the first thing that didn't make this list that I did want to mention because I feel like people would mention it is the OG rarity for weapons. The main one that comes to mind is is the purple tack and not this one but this one yeah you guys remember now i wanted to mention this but it just can't go on the list there are so many other weapons with og rarities make sure to tell me which one you miss the most or if you like the new rarities a lot more than the og ones so i know i said items but i'm also going to be mentioning some game modes because i think it's fun and at our number 10 spot we have the splashdown LTM. This was an LTM for the summer of 2020, and even though this is recent, I think it shows Epic coming up with a creative and most importantly fun LTM. Yet, I think it's sadly forgotten. The way this game mode worked, the circle would be very tiny, basically big enough to surround a POI. You would spawn in with five water balloons that continuously spawn in your inventory so you never run out. Each water balloon was a throwable item and each hit did 10 damage and players would have 30 health in total. Before this game mode, you would end up respawning each time you died and the first person to 60 kills would win. You could also get other items like smoke grenades, shadow bombs, bushes, and more. And I feel like that's one of the most fun parts about this LTM. It was basically no weapons, not much building, and all you could really do was throw water balloons at each other. I don't know if they'll ever bring this LTM back, but if they do, I'm definitely going to play it, and I think it will remain one of the most fun LTMs ever created. You guys are going to have to make sure to tell me if you remember this one or not. At the number 9 spot, I had to give it to Treasure Maps or Buried Treasure, whichever one you want to call it, and this, to me, is one of the best creations by Epic Games ever. This was a map that would have a big giant X on it, and obviously, as we know, X marks the spot. The map would give you a line to follow until you found a secret chest and you'd end up digging it up and the loot inside was always worth it. I love the way Epic implemented this item and I think it's one of the most balanced items in this game. It takes a long time in order for you to find the treasure but once you found it, it was almost always worth it. I think if they brought this back, I would like to see mythic items inside of the chest. I know, I know, guys. Obviously, they would have to spawn a little bit less than they did back in the day, but I think it would be so fun to give sort of newbier players a chance to get the mythic items well the pros can still get it as well in my opinion the reason why these are forgotten is because of presents presents are a simpler more basic version and they're easier to obtain at the number eight spot i gave it to the slide ltm so basically you had ice blocks on your feet with an infinite grappler how couldn't that be fun i think any ltm that has a slide light skill gap always makes it a little bit more fun. In the words I just said, ice blocks on your feet, infinite grappler, those both sound fun to me. Yes, it was a little bit annoying, but I feel like that added to the element of fun. You had to actually learn a little bit about this game mode, how it worked, and how to get better. And you only had a short amount of time to do that. And if you were able to do that, you could dominate these lobbies. At my number seven spot, I had to give it to the flare gun. The only reason 
reason this one is on the list, when I think of good pistols in Fortnite, or just pistols in Fortnite, there are so many that come to mind before this one. I would say this is at the bottom of the list. The first one that comes to mind is the flint knock for obvious reasons, then dual pistols, revolver, and so many more. When a gun is not only bad, but not fun, that's when it's in the danger zone of being forgettable, and that's where the flare gun is. At the number 6 spot, the Explosive Batarang. Gotham City was one of the first collaboration events I loved. These items were definitely a low light to this location though. They were basically throwing stars with a small blast radius. So if a player were to walk too close to one of these, they would be met with an explosion that dealt 50 damage. These items were similar to traps in the original Tilted Towers. Traps were just one of those annoying things that you couldn't escape from. Around each corner, you'd have to look up at a ceiling, look down at the floor, look on each wall, and if there wasn't a trap, well, you might have missed it and you're dead. And I swear to God, all of these traps would be placed from someone 10 minutes prior who's already winning the next game. And there is one other thing. When there are items like the Batman's Grappler tied to Gotham City, then other items that aren't very impactful are easily forgotten. At my number five spot, yes, our last LTM, we have Pandora. This location was a collab with Borderlands, and let me tell you, this was my favorite location in Fortnite, or at least one of them. At this POI, you would gain health and shield while being inside of Pandora's bubble, or it might have just been shield, I can't remember. And you would gain it so quickly, so unless you were to kill someone fast, they could build away and they would be full health again. I think honestly if they were to bring this one back, it would be so bad because players are so good that they could build away and get back to full health so easily. But I love thinking of this like a mini game mode inside of your typical B our experience if you ended up landing there. This is one of the most fun locations ever to exist. I love it and I hope to see more of it in the future. At the number four spot, I gave it to mounted turrets. This is a great example of an overpowered item that once it leaves the game, it's like that sort of pain in, in real life. You realize how nice it is not to have that pain when you have that pain, but once it's gone, you completely forget and you go back to taking it for granted not having that pain. That's the perfect analogy for me for the mounted turret. I hated it when it was in the game, but once it was out, I was like, yeah, I don't even know what you're talking about. At the number three spot, I gave it to the guided missile launcher. If you played during the launcher's reign, you might remember it, but it's not something that would come to your mind frequently and I feel like it, again, is one of those forgotten items. This item definitely had a love-hate relationship with every player in Fortnite, but it did make for some good and funny content back in the day. At the number two spot, I gave it to Bottle Rockets. These might be the worst item in any game's history ever. I remember the first time I saw them, I truly thought that they would be game-breaking. But sadly, they were the opposite. They were a beyond weak item that took up space in what seemed to be the infinitely growing loot pool at the time. These truly are just so forgettable. Like, they, they were horrible at the time. And not only just because they were horrible, it's because you would see them and you would never pick them up. Nobody ever ever picked up these items and if you did it was for a meme and not one of those good memes that was fun it was one of those memes where it's sort of just a new item so like laser beam felt like he had to do a video on it when he really shouldn't have at the number one spot I gave it to Airstrikes, and these came out March of 2018. This item didn't really seem like Fortnite to me, and I think they released it because of another game that was somewhat popular that had them. You guys are gonna have to tell me if you had that same thought, if you have that same memory. Were Airstrikes released because of another game that had them, and Epic Games was trying to copy them? It didn't really feel original though, and it wasn't that useful. You would throw it down 
down and bombs would start falling from the sky in a short radius. This item will never be brought back to Battle Royale, ever. And I feel like this will remain as one of the most forgettable items in Fortnite's history. And the longer and longer we go into the future of Fortnite, the more and more forgettable this one will become. If I missed out on any items that you think are forgettable, make sure to let me know in the comments section. But this is just my take on it, guys. There are so many items I could have added here. Stuff like the boom boxes, but I don't know, guys. Smoke grenades, there's so many. But you guys are gonna have to tell me what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. Use my code COBESMIND, drop a sub to my second channel. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.